Hey guys, I have just a quick encouraging thought for you today. Um, this morning I read something that was extremely profound. And it said that God forges our character in the fires of adversity. Think about that. God forges our character in the fires of adversity. Now, adversity is not fun. In fact, it is quite uncomfortable. It literally is like a fire. We get offended. We get angry. We feel rejected. We feel abandonment. Someone doesn't want to go along with our idea. Someone comes against us or our plan, um, whether at work or at home or a child or a spouse or a, 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 some, a teammate. Jesus spoke this himself and he said, in this life, you will be offended. If that's the case, how do we actually deal with the offense? This week for Spiritual Renewal Week and Fasting, I have myself uncovered a couple of areas that I need to let go of. So in Psalms 51 and verse 10, it says, Create a clean heart within me, O God. Why is he saying that? Well, Jesus also spoke of the parable of the sower. And the sower sows seeds of the word. And so the word, meaning the word of God, but also you look at Facebook and Instagram, there are all these inspirational, encouraging messages that constantly are flowing through the news feed. How do we actually receive this and apply it to our heart? Whenever we have resentment and bitterness and anger and we're offended, how does the seed actually go into the soil of our heart? Because the seed and the soil go hand in hand. I don't know much about agriculture, but I know enough to know that you can't put seed in toxic soil. It will never grow. So in order to nurture the messages that we continuously hear, the encouragement, the love, the life that is spoken into us, how do we actually allow this to come to fruition in our own lives? By simply saying that prayer. God, create a clean heart within me. Now, here's the, here's the answered prayer, unfortunately. You're going to get situations to apply this clean heart. You're going to get a situation with a loved one, with a co-worker, with someone that you will be put to the test. It will be like you are in the fire. Well, instead of reacting like you always have, try responding with peace. Try responding as though you didn't even hear it. Try responding with, hey, I love you. I don't want to fight. I'm here to just enjoy your, your presence and your time. When we start to respond differently to the same thing that's been happening to us over and over and over and over in our life, if you pay attention, it didn't just come from a coworker, a friend, a child, a spouse. This thing has been hitting you over and over and over your entire life from different people all over. In, in the workforce, throughout your day, it doesn't matter. These things just have a tendency to keep popping up. Why? Because it's almost like a test. When are we going to just pass that test and just respond differently? And the more you continuously respond differently and let no offense come against you, the more it's going to get easier and easier and easier. The more you're going to get to a point where you have an awareness to where you start to understand that, hey, what they're going through has absolutely nothing to do with me. Maybe they're just having a tough time at home and their attitude has no representation of the way that I treat them. You start to have a different perspective of things in life. I just want to encourage you, enjoy life. We are so blessed in this great nation to have so many things at our disposal. Stay encouraged, guys. Let go of the bitterness. Allow the stillness of God inside of your heart, the peace of God. Sometimes we just need to slow down and get into a quiet place and just understand that so many of the offenses that have come in our life had absolutely nothing to do with us in that moment. It was just a spillover from something that someone is dealing with. Guys, I just want to encourage you. Take care of the soil of your heart because God will never leave you nor forsake you. And he that has begun a good work in you will bring it to completion. Now, would you like to get into the express lane? Would you like for things to start happening a little bit faster than they have been? 
Let go of the offenses and bitterness inside of your heart. Forgive them for God's sakes because you can't receive what God has for you while you're holding on so tight to the things of your past. Some of this stuff could go back to our childhood. It's not worth it, guys. Forgive them. Love them. Love them. Love them. Enjoy them. There's something beautiful about every single person on this planet. Find the beauty in that person and just love on it. I hope this encourages y'all. I hope y'all have a great week. Love y'all. God bless.